Okay, we're gonna do something special today. We're cooking in one of our listings in Woodstock. Sarah came all the way up from Brooklyn to prepare a treat for us. <laughs> what do we have going on, Sarah? Well, I figured since it's very cold outside and we have our fire roaring, it's Sunday, I'm gonna do something very, very comforting. So we're gonna make one of my favorite dishes, which is lasagna with a garlic bechamel and lots of fresh mozzarella on top. Sound good? I've never complained about lasagna, <laughs> are you kidding me? I know, it's such a treat to make because there's lots of different steps and it's like a relaxing thing to do on a Sunday. Do you cook much? I don't, but this would be a good learning <laughs> Well, you've got your apron sure. on, so you're going to be you my, go, my sous chef today. <laughs> um, so we're going to start with the bolognese. And this is kind of like an Italian ragu. You can make it a lot of different ways. I'm going to make it today using beef and pork, a combination, so you get like a little bit of a, a flavor boost. Um, we're going to start with the mirepoix, which is onion, celery, and carrots. So let's go over and start getting a little bit of olive oil. If you can give me a sure. nice big drizzle. And we're using some amazing um, olive oil from Puglia, actually. Some ground beef. And I think this is about 80% lean, so it still has a nice fat content because one of my things I'm always saying when I'm cooking is fat equals flavor. <laughs> so <laughs> kind of want to let it sit there now. We want to get all of that kind of water. You can see the juices coming out of it and the fat. So we're going to mix this around. And then we're going to add in the celery and the carrot as well. And so the carrots and onion and celery and garlic. Yep, toss them in there. These all create like a really great base of flavor for our bolognese. So now we're going to use a tomato puree or a passata, the whole thing. Next up, we're going to make our bechamel sauce. And we're gonna put in the butter over. It's roux time, y'all. So now we're gonna put in about half of our flour. We're gonna add in the milk. And this is the beginning of our bechamel. I like to flavor my bechamel with some garlic and then cheese at the end. So it's like this very decadent, delicious white sauce that goes in between the layers of the bolognese and the pasta noodles. Microplaning, how's this? Beautiful. It's up to code? Yeah, it's up to code. You're doing an amazing job. It's really bubbling up and getting nice and thick. So this is beautiful. We're cutting out fresh mozzarella. Um, we also have yeah. some shredded mozzarella as well. So we're gonna use the shredded and parm in between the layers, and then this will actually go on the top so it gets that beautiful, melty, oozy kind of feeling there. All right, so now's the time to make the magic happen. Okay. So we're gonna do layers. I have this big sort of Pyrex container that can go into the oven. We're gonna start with our bolognese. Now this is super saucy. So what I'm gonna actually try and do is get as much of the extra liquid out of there. We're on layer one right here. We are on layer one. So a nice hearty layer on the bottom. And then we're adding in our lasagna noodles. Look at that. Do, yeah, right? gorgeous, right? I like the way you say that. Yeah, you sound like you're really awkward. I mean, this is kind of the fun part. You don't really have to be like super technical about the amounts. But the kind of thing for me is like more cheese is always better, right? So that's perfect. Bottom oven is on. It's at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna move it over. Yes, sir. You can open the oven for me. Yeah, hang on. Okay, well, Sarah, this looks unbelievable. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much for coming and cooking with us. Of course. And we're looking forward to more creations in different listings yeah. in the very near future. So stay tuned and we're going to eat this now. Yeah, it's time to eat. Bye. Bye. Ooh.